I'm a sophomore in high school, so I very much feel confident in saying school, at least in my experience, was just a bunch of bullshit. I mean, I really liked kindergarten through third grade because the teachers weren't that demanding and there was recess and which all we did in recess was figure out who the fastest kid in the class was and whoever was the fastest kid in the class was essentially the coolest kid in the class. And quite honestly, I miss that. We had all these other fun things that we did. But after third grade was when I really started to hate school. Um, the teachers became more and more demanding and shit, which, you know, that created some problems for me, you know. But I went to an elementary school where, quite honestly, even the nicest of the nice teachers would raise their voice at the students at least once a month. In fifth grade, teachers would yell at me constantly and say to me that I would never amount to anything just because I wasn't a perfect student in their image which of course I wasn't. It really f***ed me up. It f***ed up my ability to communicate with authority figures and also my peers and also the people who are younger than me. And I was afraid to tell anybody about this because I was afraid that if I did tell people about this, I would come across as a crybaby and I would come across as being dramatic and I would be in the wrong for telling people. But let's move on to my middle school years. I can't really say that much about middle school because... You know, it just felt like one big blur to me. I get out of elementary school. It's just one big, hazy, dizzy blur, like a fever dream. And then here I am in high school. I'm like, what the f*** just happened? But yeah, I can't really say that much about middle school, except it was just one big popularity contest. Everybody was so, everybody was so concerned about how many followers they had on Instagram and how many friends they had on Snapchat and who could have the highest snap score or some sh**. Whoever had the most signatures in the yearbook at the end of the year, people weren't concerned about running fast anymore. Because they grew up and moved on and had other shit to worry about. And don't even get me started on middle school relationships. You know, relationships that would last about an hour. And then they would break up right before the bell rang to go to the next class. And then they would hook up with a different person. And then the cycle would repeat. Um, I know of girls that had 40 boyfriends over the course of two months, and I'm not exaggerating either. I literally heard of one girl who had 40 boyfriends over the course of, what was it, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks? I don't remember, but I know of some middle schools Kids started cussing right off the bat in 6th grade. Some started even earlier than that, 4th or 5th grade. But I didn't really start hearing it until, you know, 7th grade. Um, which, of course, and of course, I don't have a problem with people using quote-unquote swear words. 
which I mean, they're just three, four, five letter words. It's not going to hurt anybody. I don't have a problem with it, but I know some some of you guys in the audience are parents and teachers. So I think that should be brought to your attention. I mean, I'm guilty of using these words myself. Of course, you know that from listening to me talking about this. Of course, then we had the teachers who just gave out random citations because of petty reasons or giving out detentions and silent lunches for petty reasons as well. Um, I know a couple of teachers who were notorious for doing this. And then we move on to high school and your status in middle school, your popularity status in middle school has no effect whatsoever on how popular you are in high school. And it's not, in high school is not a, a popularity contest like it was in middle school. Now, it's not whoever has the most Instagram followers or the most Snapchat uh, friends. It's whoever has the most sex and whoever smokes the most weed or whoever vapes the most, which is a problem because kids are constantly f***ing up their lungs and liver just so that they can be accepted by their friend group. I'm not saying it's not normal. I'm just saying it's not good. And as for the sex part, you're never going to stop teenagers from having sex with each other. So, in my opinion, the best thing you can do is to just throw a condom at them and hope that they actually use it like they're supposed to. Because it's on them if they don't. Another issue I want to talk about is fighting. There are fights constantly well not really constantly but in middle and high schools there are probably fights every week at least once and it's it's two it's two students or more settling their disputes by using violence and of course, I do not condone violence. Um, I do not condone just going up to people and start punching them in the face. No, I do not. I do not support that at all. But I am also not one to say that violence is never the answer. Because there are a few circumstances where I feel that violence is the only way out. Such as... If you are in danger of your safety or your well-being, you need to defend yourself to get out of that situation in any way that you see fit. I think it's bullshit that the teachers and administration enforce zero tolerance policies on violence. Because damn, if you're going to punish the victim too... He might as well have just started beating the shit out of his attacker. Get his few punches in. Oh, and you want to know what else? Certain studies have shown that colored students were treated more harshly than their white peers because of the same minor infraction such as talking back to the teacher. But don't quote me on that. Go do your own research and find out for yourself. 
Another complaint that I have is that schools feel like a jail or a prison or a boot camp. Mainly because, you know, you know, the, you know, the whole sit down at your desk, raise your hand if you want to ask a question or speak, ask permission if you want to leave the classroom to go, ex go do bodily functions, and all that other great stuff. But another reason is because the police presence in our schools. I know that they have the cops in the schools so that in case something were to happen that would require police force, they would be readily available. But certain studies have shown that the police presence in schools doesn't affect the safety of the school at all. In fact, the only time police interact with the students is if they're, they're tackling them, have them on the ground in handcuffs, and taking them away for, you know, vaping or smoking weed in the bathroom or sneaking a bottle of Jack Daniels. I don't know. I don't know what these kids do that would require a cop to tackle them and put them in handcuffs, but that would be my guess. But yeah, that was my little, um, that was my little rant, or not really a rant, it was just a collection of thoughts that I welded into one audio piece. I hope you enjoyed it.